welcome to the Vegan Petite channel. My name is Linda and today we are making not one but two main vegan Thanksgiving dishes. So today we are trying the Tofurky products. I have been vegan for over six years and I've still never had an actual Tofurky roast which is what people typically think of that vegans have for Thanksgiving. So we're gonna give this a try today. This is the Tofurky plant-based roast with wild rice stuffing. Um, I found this one at Sprouts, but I'm sure they have them at other stores as well. And in addition, so this is replacing our turkey. In addition, we also have our Tofurky plant-based ham style roast. And this one comes with amber ale glaze. That sounds yummy. Um, when I was growing up, my family would always have both turkey and ham for Thanksgiving. And I personally liked the ham better just because it was kind of salty and sweet and less dry than the turkey. Um, so we're going to try both, see which one we like or if they're any good and stick around. Before we get into the recipe, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on future vegan Thanksgiving dishes coming up on the channel. But for now, let's get into the video. Check this out. This is what our plant-based roast look like out of the box. So this is the tofurkey. Um, not super big, but it comes in like this vacuum sealed thing. You gotta remove that before you cook it. And this is the little ham, even smaller. So yeah, this probably isn't gonna feed like a huge family, but if you're going to a family gathering and you just want something for you and maybe your significant other, this would probably do the trick and definitely make some sides to fill out your meal. I'll link some videos um, around so that way you can get some other ideas for Thanksgiving sides. So let's get this wrapping off of the roast. And then also the ham comes with some glaze. <gasps> yes, thanks for pointing that out. This is the amber maple glaze. All right, let me show you what the ham roast looks like out of the package. It looks like this. And I went ahead and stabbed mine <laughs> with some um, whole cloves. It's just mainly for decorative purposes, but it does add a little bit of extra flavor as well. This is how my uncle used to always make ham roast, so kind of reminds me of that. And then the instructions say to add a quarter cup of water to the pan. So that's about a quarter cup right there. And then we're gonna cover it with some foil. Cover it nice and tightly. And that's all our prep work for now for the ham roast. We're gonna save the glaze for a little bit later in the process. And here is what our turkey style roast looks like out of the package. Um, I can see a little bit of that wild rice stuffing sticking out through the bottom. So what I've done here, I've lined a um, baking dish with aluminum foil and also parchment because we are gonna wrap this up like a tight little bundle. But first, we're gonna make a special baste for it. This is pretty much um, based on the suggested recipe that's on the package. So they suggest doing three tablespoons of olive oil. Let's go ahead and do that. And three, and this is gonna help moisturize our turkey style roast and give it extra flavor. And then they add another tablespoon. Hold on, I gotta open this. <laughs> oh, it came right out, okay. We're gonna do a tablespoon of soy sauce. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do teaspoon and a half of ground sage. I love sage. This really gives it a ton of Thanksgiving style flavor. Oh man, my spoon doesn't fit in there. <laughs> okay, let's do this as best as we can. Okay, teaspoon. They said teaspoon and a half. Okay, 
and it's totally up to you what you want to put into your base. Um, we could also probably add some thyme. I usually, I usually like a little bit of thyme in my Thanksgiving food. Not a ton, but just a bit. And I also like black pepper. A little bit of that. And I've got a special little ingredient that up to you, optional, but this is liquid smoke. And this makes everything taste like it's been barbecued or smoked. So just a drop or two goes a long way. Makes it taste a little bit more meaty. All right, so now that we've got our base, we're gonna put half of this right now onto our turkey style roast. And then the other half we will save for um, for the end when we're browning it. So yeah, that's about half right there. I've got my handy dandy silicone brush. I love this thing. Look at that. We're just gonna, we're gonna paint our turkey style roast with all this delicious flavor. Mm-hmm. And I remember when I used to eat turkey, like those things don't have a ton of flavor on their own. You really got to add a lot, but the seasonings and the flavors, the aromatics, that's really what makes the food taste good. So it doesn't matter whether you're eating an animal or a um, plant-based version, you still got to season it. So other optional step, but I think it's going to pump up the flavor quite a bit. I've got some chopped up aromatic veggies that I'm gonna add to this little package. So I've got some um, chopped onion. I'm gonna throw in a couple cloves of garlic on the side. Some uh, baby carrots. Look at that, it's starting to look like a little turkey roast. And then some, uh, some chopped celery. Wow, I'm already impressed. Look at that presentation. Can't wait till it's cooked. All vegan. Yeah. Heaven, yeah. Okay, so now what we're gonna do with this, we're going to wrap it up like a little, like a little baby or like a little Christmas bundle. So wrap it up with the parchment. Okay. And now we're gonna wrap it up with the aluminum foil. And all those yummy flavors are gonna roast together in this tight little bundle in the oven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's like a little surprise. All right, let's take these over to the oven and plop them in. We're gonna put our roasts into a 350 degree oven and bake them for an hour and 20 minutes. Now, I forgot to mention earlier, I have already took these out of the freezer 24 hours in advance, so they're not completely frozen. But um, if yours are still frozen, you're gonna have to bake them longer according to the package. I think about two hours, 15 minutes. So in they go, and we will check on you babies in an hour 20. Have fun in there. Okay, our plant-based roasts have been cooking in the oven for an hour 20 minutes. So I went ahead and took them out and we are going to now glaze our little vegan ham. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Um, so we can go ahead and open up our special, what is this called? Amber brown sugar glaze. This is the one that came with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and Whoa! Hmm, that looks good. Just pour that over. Ooh, saucy. Yum, yum, yum. It smells good. And then we can get our, um, our little silicone brush and just make sure we get all the sides. We can get a little bit of the liquid that is still in the pan and just baste it thoroughly. Oh, 
Kind of smells like teriyaki a little bit, <laughs> this glaze. Yeah. I think it's gonna be good though. Mm-mm-mm. And the cloves really um, make it smell like a holiday ham. It's crazy. We did add a little bit more water when we took it out because it was a little dry. Mm hmm yeah. It's just because normally the ham, you're supposed to cook it at 325, but since I was cooking it at the same time as the turkey, we did um, 350. So now when we put this back in the oven, it's gonna be uncovered for 15 minutes. So now let's take a look at our turkey roast. All right, now we're gonna open up our turkey style roast. It's like a little present. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe how good this smells. Look at that. Yeah, oh my gosh, you smell the sage and the garlic coming through. Oh my gosh, it literally smells like everything you would expect from Thanksgiving. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little maneuver right now, okay? I'm gonna <laughs> transfer this from the little parchment packet to the actual dish, and then we're gonna finish basting it. So let's let's try to do this as gracefully as Cut. we can. Ooh, look at that! This was the bottom side of our turkey roast. It got nice and golden on that side. I like it. And these are the vegetables that were in there, look, the onions are just, they like separated nicely and they look kind of caramelized. Oh my gosh, this smells incredible. Can't wait to slice into this. So I'm gonna flip it back onto, this was the top side. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're gonna let brown. And uh, remember how we saved half of the, the base from earlier? Yeah, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and add this back in. And look, the, the soy saucy part and the liquid smoke part uh, mostly got saved at the bottom of the base. Oh, goodness gracious. Santa Maria, I cannot believe the smells coming from this. All right, let's find my little brush. Paint that flavor on there nicely. Okay. Now these two bad boys are gonna go back into the oven at 350 for another 15 minutes to get a little bit of golden color on top. Then we're gonna take them out, slice them up, and give it a try. Woohoo! Yeah. Our plant-based roasts have finished roasting in the oven. So here they go. We've got our plant-based ham over here and our turkey. Tofurky roast, mm mm mm. Where to begin? I think I'm gonna start with the ham. This is with the glaze and everything. Mm. Yummy. Ooh, okay, let's set this here. And now we're gonna carve a little piece. You ready? Mm hmm Okay. And um, by the way, you don't eat the cloves. You can take them out if you want. I think they look cute for decoration, but let's just get a nice clean slice here. So you want to use a serrated knife to carve this, this here ham. Ooh, okay. Look at, oh, it actually, oh, no kidding. It legit smells like ham right there. Ooh. Look at that nice clean slice right there. So good. We're gonna put this on a plate and drizzle that glaze on, and then we're gonna carve that uh, tofurkey roast. Now it's time to carve our tofurkey roast with the wild rice stuffing. I can't believe I've never had this before and I've been vegan for six years. Okay, here it goes. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> oh, the suspense is killing me. Oh, okay. 
Oh, that smells good. See that stuffing in there? Here, let's get another slice. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay, it's got that wild rice stuffing in there, so it does kind of fall apart a little bit, but maybe if you slice thicker slices, it'll hold together better. So we're gonna go ahead and plate this up with our veggies and the remaining sauce, and then we're gonna give this a try. And voila, here are our lovely holiday roasts all plated up. This one's the turkey style one. I think I'm gonna start with this one first. Oh my gosh. This was so much easier than cooking an actual friggin' turkey, let me tell you that. All right, so we're gonna get a little piece of the, the turkey part. And we're gonna get some of this wild rice stuffing in there as well. Let me Can you see the nice golden top on it? Mm. There we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm actually impressed. The base sauce definitely gave it a lot of flavor around the outside. And it's nice and savory. It's not bland at all. The texture, it's kind of like a seitan texture almost, but it's definitely got some chew to it. I like it. Mm-hmm. Try some of these roasted vegetables with it too. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So now let's try this, um, this glazed ham. This was the amber ale glaze. Mm, I like the I like the crusty part. Let's try this out. Got some of that sauce. You see that? Yeah. Mm. That was mm. juicy. This one is juicy. Ooh. Yeah, this one kind of does have a, a nice, like, kind of fallen apart little ham texture. And the cloves, I know that's not part of the, the recipe that's on the box, but it definitely adds a little something, more of that holiday flavor to it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. If you like ham, I think you'll like this one. Oh my gosh. It's hard to choose which one I like more, but... Growing up, I was always a ham person, so I really like the holiday ham uh, tofurkey version. But this turkey actually, I think, has like more flavor than when I used to eat um, turkey back in the day. So comment below, which one of these tofurkey rows are you most excited to try? Are you gonna try out the turkey style tofurkey with the wild rice stuffing? Or are you gonna try the plant-based ham with the amber ale glaze on top? Let me know in the comments. Smash the like button if you wanna see more holiday inspiration. And if you wanna serve these with some really fantastic oil-free mashed potatoes and gravy, you gotta check out my last week's video. I'll put a link to it. And um, I'll link some other side dish ideas in the description as well. So happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <sighs> Plop them in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to focus. Okay. And stick around. <laughs>